Hi friends, Mrs. Jones Sweetie here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make um, relief prints with toilet paper rolls. We might have a lot of these hanging around. You might could also use paper towel rolls. I know we have a lot. Uh, we're just going to use toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. I'm going to use um, some oil pastels because that's what I have around. You could also use a crayon without a wrapper. And then uh, you'll just need a pair of scissors and some glue. These are my scissors at home, kind of fancy. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing and give you step by step. All right, I'm gonna need at least two pieces of paper. One of the pieces of paper is going to be for me to glue on uh, and arrange my toilet paper rolls the way that I want it. So I'm gonna cut, um, I'm gonna try to cut pieces all the same length right here um going yeah. this way so yeah. cut some pieces and i'm going to try to cut them about the same length over and over again it's okay if they're not perfect but um it's better it's just easier if they are um, close to the same size we got those. We're gonna start with these, and I'm gonna just start arranging. Now, what you might wanna do is arrange first, Daddy. and then glue once you have um, the arrangement that you want on here. I'm gonna create a flower. Uh, a sun could be cool here, a little person. You can cut uh, smaller pieces out too. Let's see, oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna glue these down really quick and let it dry and then we're going to come back when it's dry and I'll show you what to do next. All right, now that I have my toilet paper rings um, glued down, I am going to carefully lay another piece of paper on top. I'm going to take the long side of my crayon or my oil pastel, and I'm gonna to try to find a way to hold tight and not let this paper on top um, move around. So I have more space to hold down here, so I'm gonna to try to do that. So that way it stays. And then I'm just going to rub the oil pastel over my toilet paper rings so that that texture comes out of my flower. Not, not always gonna be perfect. Gonna provide some really cool textures though. Try to keep it in the same spot. There's that one petal. I'm missing a petal. There's the last petal. Now I can um, make as many of these texture rubbings as I want. And then I can continue to add more to the texture rubbing. So I might add some more petals and try another print. Uh, I might add some leaves. I can also take this oil pastel or crayon rubbing and use watercolor on top of it. If I use a nice thick paper like I have here, I can take my watercolors and paint right over the oil pastel and the crayon since the oil pastel had in has oil and the crayon has wax in it, those are gonna repel the water. So we're still gonna be able to see our texture rubbings and we can put watercolor over it. So I hope you enjoy this activity. You're reusing your toilet paper rolls um, and you're creating a really cool texture rubbing. So good luck. Can't wait to see them.